How's it going everybody? So today I'm going to show you one of the biggest tricks in my bag. Um, everyone asks how my hair looks so full and why does it look so nice and how do you keep the curls in for so long. And I'm a big cheater. I am going to show you today how I wear my full lace wigs and how I make them look natural. Um, I usually only bust these out for special occasions, weddings, um, birthdays, and I will for the baby shower. This is the one I will be wearing for the baby shower. So I'm going to prepare it and show you how I do that. And um, I hope that you guys enjoy. The reason why I wear full lace wigs um, is strictly because my hair just doesn't grow. When I was about 14 years old, I cut it to shoulder length and it's never grown since. I just have mixed jeans and my hair just doesn't grow quickly. They'll grow about an inch and the inch is fried off because I straighten my hair so often that I need to trim it. So it never seems to get longer. Um, obviously 14 to now 27. I should have been growing my hair past my butt by now, <laughs> but um, I just have bad hair jeans. So what are you gonna do? This particular wig is um, by Equal. It is a lace deep invisible L part. I always buy deep invisible L parts um, and I'll explain later why I do that. This one is, the style is Danity and it's in a two color which is like a medium to dark brown which my hair is naturally so it's the easiest to blend. Um, the easiest way to match your natural hair color is to go into your hair store and see the different colors. Um, I can get away with one B's and twos, but twos really match almost perfectly. So, here we go. This is how it comes. I'll show you the label. Let's begin. So I just take it out of this package. And I will show you. I always save my sleeves because I will house it in this until the shower then, until I'm gonna wear it. After I prepare my wig, it typically lasts about 30 days or so, maintaining it very gently, not over wearing it, not sleeping in it, taking it off at night. There's always, um, net on it that came out right off just taking all the packaging out okay so this is her now some of my friends are like oh yeah that's what your hair looks like all the time because I literally I wear this all the time um, it's pretty normal um, a lot of my closest closest friends know but that's really it if you can see this is what they consider the lace, the lace front. It is a meshy material that you just cut off and it's not lace by any means. They just call it lace. And if you can see, the part has lace in it too, which is very helpful. That makes it look more natural. And again, I'm gonna show you when I'm preparing it, what I actually do with it. So, your wig, you need hair thread and a needle and clips. You don't always need clips. I cut my wig so I do need clips. Okay, okay simply we're going to cut off this lace that's in the front without cutting any of the hair off. So I will
The best part about Danity and why I continuously purchase this wig is because she just looks so natural to me. Um, I love her length and she is just the bomb. I love her. Which is awesome. The next is I'm going to cut through this center line and that is going to create a real part in this wig. Now most people that wear lace front wigs are going to say, why are you going to do that? Why don't you just wear it as is? I definitely could do that, but I feel like it looks the most natural when I cut down here and I add in clips into the inside and I wear it as a wig, but I pull my natural hair through it. So I'm going to go ahead and cut down the center. And that is it. So you can see now that there's a part in the hair. This next part is the more complicated part of the whole process. Needle and Threader is available at any hair store. I got mine literally from my tops in the area. Um, so I am simply going to just thread my needle and I'm going to triple knot. So what I do next is I take my clips. These are the same clips that I used for my extension hair tutorial. You also get these at the hair store. They're very cheap. And I am going to sew. There are naturally combs in this, so I'm going to keep the two combs and I'm going to sew one here, one on the opposite side. So each side, so that's going to meet at near my temples. And then I'm going to also put a clip deep inside where my part will be. So it's nice and secure. There's no math to where I'm putting this clip. I'm keeping it away from the comb that's there, but also putting it pretty far back so I have security two places in my wig. Now I'm sewing this, I'm literally just sewing it. You'll see if you ever go and get these clips, there are natural holes inside the clips to connect these. I am just attaching it to the wig. Okay, that side is good. Okay, so that is my first clip. Now I'm going to do the exact same thing on the opposite side. Like I said, again, here's the comb. So I'm just going to go a little bit further down. Make sure that it's facing the right way. So the inside of the wig now, there is a back comb, as you can see, and then this is the two sides. All right, the last clip that we're going to put in is going to be right here. I'm going to put it right at the edge of the end of this part.
that is it. So I am going to take my hair out and show you how I put this wig on.